Yeremiahu, Jeremiah 23. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter at the sheep of my pasture, says Yahuwah. Therefore, thus says Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael against the pastors that feed at my people. Ye have scattered at my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you at the evil of your doings, says Yahuwah. And I will gather at the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them and they shall fear no more nor be dismayed neither shall they be lacking, says Yahuwah. Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Yahuda shall be saved, and Yashadael shall dwell safely, and this is his name whereby he shall be called. Yahuwah, Siddikinu. Therefore, behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that they shall no more say, Yahuwah lives, which brought up at the children of Yashadael out of the land of Mitzrayim, but Yahuwah lives, which brought up and which led at the seed of the house of Yashadael out of the north country, and from all countries whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, and like a man whom wine has overcome, because of Yahuwah, and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of breakers of wedlock, for because of swearing the land mourns. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, says Yahuwah. Wherefore their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness they shall be driven on and fall therein, for I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their visitation, says Yahuwah. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Shomoron. They prophesied in Baal, and caused eth my people eth Yashadael to err. I have seen also in the prophets of Yerushalayim a horrible thing. They break wedlock and walk in lies. They strengthen also the, also the hands of evildoers that none returns from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sidam and the inhabitants thereof as Amorah. Therefore thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth concerning the prophets. Behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Yerushalayim is profaneness gone forth in all the land. Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of Yahuwah. They say still unto them that despise me, Yahuwah has said, Ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walks after the imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come upon you. For who has stood in the counsel of Yahuwah, and has perceived and heard his word? Who has marked at his word? and heard it. Behold, a whirlwind of Yahuwah is gone forth in fury, 
even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of Yahuwah shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly. I have not seen at these prophets, yet they ran. Rather, I have not sent at these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, and had caused at my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way, and from the evil of their doings. Am I Elohai at hand, says Yahuwah, and not Elohai afar off? Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, says Yahuwah? Do not I fill at the heavens and at the earth, says Yahuwah? I have heard at what the prophets said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause eth my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. The prophet that has a dream, let him tell a dream, and he that has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to eth the wheat, says Yahuwah? Is not my word like as a fire, says Yahuwah, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, says Yahuwah, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, says Yahuwah, that use their tongues and say, He says. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, says Yahuwah, and do tell them, and causeth my people to err by their lies and by their likeness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore they shall not profit this people at all, says Yahuwah. And when this people, or the prophet, or a priest, shall ask you, saying, Eth, What is the burden of Yahuwah? You shall then say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, says Yahuwah. And as for the prophet and the priest and the people that shall say, The burden of Yahuwah, I will even punish that man and his house. Thus shall ye say every one to his neighbor and every one to his brother. What has Yahuwah answered? And what has Yahuwah spoken? And the burden of Yahuwah shall ye mention no more, for every man's word shall be his burden. For ye have perverted at the words of the living Elohim, of Yahuwah Sevaoth, our Elohim. Thus shall you say to the prophet, What has Yahuwah answered you? And what has Yahuwah spoken? But since ye say, the burden of Yahuwah, therefore thus says Yahuwah. Because ye say at this word, the burden of Yahuwah, and I have sent unto you, saying, ye shall not say, the burden of Yahuwah. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you, and I will forsake you, and at the city that I gave you, and your fathers, and cast you out of my presence. And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten.